Well, hello. Foreskin here. And uh, right over here, that right there, that's uh, Heine. What you doing, Heine? How you doing? Heine doing good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? What? Heine's doing good. Hell yeah, Heine. So Foreskin here is having a conversation with Heine over here. Yeah, right there. This guy. And um, so we, we, we kind of come to an agreement about something. <clears throat> it's not, a, you know, about video games. How about this? <clears throat> Currently, video games are kind of like a weapon. If they get in the hands of a young mind, they can get desensitized to killing very quickly. <clears throat> so... We've come up with an idea. I know it's just an idea. It's not ever going to work. But, you know, this is foreskin and... Heine. He yeah, Heine speaking here, right? <laughs> it doesn't have to make sense. But what if every parent and every child who wanted to play video games had to take a test, an emotional test, to make sure that they're emotionally capable of playing these games. We gotta do background checks, get a gun, right? I think just the idea of this would put in the thought of maybe uh, an educational system in reminding children that art is a place for the imagination and helping bringing back the, sensit the sensitivity of what murder, rape, and death is that these video games kind of glorify. I don't know, just imagine if uh, everybody had the educational foundation regarding what the value of life is and what desensitization of the value of life looks like and what it means and what it does. I don't know, man. I think that... Uh, there would be less destroying and more creating in our planet. What do you think? How about you, man? What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> he says maybe. <laughs> uh, no, here in high school.